Ask any parent, they will probably tell you they feel like an ATM just shelling out money to the kids, right? Raising a child is more expensive now than ever before. But get this, it's still cheaper than taking care of an aging parent. News 5's Lauren Wilson takes a closer look at the costs. Parenting is often called the toughest job. You can read all the books you want, and then the second you see them, you, you know, you automatically start going to a different plan. Veronica McGee can relate. You, you, you don't really notice how much you're juggling until after you fall down. But she's not raising a baby. Ten years ago, Veronica became the full-time caregiver for her mother after she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it hurts when you, you see that aging part of your parent. Working a full-time job and taking care of her granddaughter as well, Veronica told me she had no clue how much it would cost her financially and emotionally. The lights and gas is going up, you know, the water bill is going up, so that's the cost um, and the stress of that cost. Costs that Debbie Sasserich, a caregiving social worker, says are common and yet frequently aren't planned for. You run out of money very quickly. For someone like Veronica, out-of-pocket costs to care for an aging parent average about $140,000. Compare that to the $233,000, the Department of Agriculture's latest estimate for the cost of raising a child. But looks are deceiving. Many of them reduce their hours at work or quit their job to care for the parent. And so that's a huge cost. And raising a child is spread out across almost two decades, while most people care for an older adult for just about four years. You really don't realize all you need until it happens to you. Program leaders tell me there's a need for more resources to support these caregivers across the country and here in Cuyahoga County. Oh, I think we can always improve that there are a lot of people who have fallen through the gaps and don't even know where to look. Now, Cuyahoga County has a program called Options for Seniors, so if you don't quite meet the Medicaid eligibility and your physical needs aren't as great, they can send health aides into the home to help give that caregiver a break. Lauren Wilson, News 5.